Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Boshat Osio Mask and Snorkel set. So as the name suggests, this is a mask and snorkel set. So if you're just starting out, if you're getting into snorkeling or maybe even scuba diving because the actual quality of, the ma of this mask is pretty good, um, but it does have one major uh, sort of feature and that's in the strap. I know that's the least interesting part of the mask and snorkel set, but actually, yeah, long-term, this is gonna be a very nice strap. Um, but yeah, if you're just starting out, definitely worth considering. Let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives uh, in a reusable mesh bag. It's kind of mesh on one side and then uh, fabric on the other. But yeah, for your sort of mask and snorkel set, you've got a little uh, sort of grab. You can clip, clip that onto something. But yeah, if for a first mask and snorkel set, yeah, it's pretty cool to have a, a little bag. And the mesh helps to uh, sort of allow it to air dry between uses. Uh, if you just stuff it in a bag, it's just gonna collect that water and it's just gonna go nasty. But with some mesh, it allows you to breathe. Uh, actually, on the top, you also get uh, some paperwork. Uh, have a good uh, sort of read through that. It's in a few different languages, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, on the back, nothing overly interesting, just gray with that, uh, that blue trim. Velcro closure. And then you get the mask and the snorkel. So if we look at the uh, the mask first, so pretty decent sized mask. Um, it's got frame, this external frame that holds everything together. One of the biggest selling points is this elastic strap. So instead of the traditional old silicone straps, which can, you'd, you'd have a ratchet strap on one side and they kind of tangle up in your hair uh, and they get quite uncomfortable, especially if you have long hair. These new sort of almost ski goggle style straps are becoming more and more popular nowadays. And they're a uh, elasticated fabric so they do have some give but they have a lot of benefits they're very quick to adjust so you have this section here you just pull that through to uh, to adjust it for the perfect size and then it sticks and uh, and sort of stays in um, that perfect length but you've got enough stretch to kind of get it on and then it holds itself in position it means that if you do get a little nick or a cut in it, silicone, it'll if you just pull on that with a little nick in it, it'll just split. But with this one, very strong, so this will last a long, long time. Um, I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely sure why they put it on this side, but you get a snorkel loop. Snorkel loop is really handy because it's integrated. You just uh, sort of pop the snorkel on the side. Uh, the, the reason why I'm confused is that they put it on the right-hand side. Traditionally, snorkel always goes on your left-hand side. Uh, that's from us scuba divers because our regulator comes in over the right-hand shoulder. If the snorkel's on the right as well, it gets in the way. So we always hold it on our uh, on our left-hand side. But hey, you can have it on your uh, on your right-hand side if you want. It also has a quick release mechanism. There's a little push button, you push that in and you can remove it. This is becoming quite a uh, almost universal fitting nowadays. Uh, you are seeing this style strap nowadays from a few other different brands where you can just push and click it into position. It also means that it's articulated so it can move a little bit depending on how high you want that strap on the back of your head. Um, but if you ever do need to swap that strap out, you can swap it out and you'll have a few, uh, a few options. The mask itself, so yeah, so it's framed, tempered glass lens, so very strong and safe glass lens, decent size, uh, so you do get a decent amount of field of view. Separate nose pocket and plenty of space either side, so if you are diving under the water and you need to equalize your ears and pinch your nose, you can still pinch your nose and uh, sort of blow against that to, uh, to equalize. And a soft silicone skirt, so that's gonna be sealing against your skin very effectively. And on the inside, you actually have a separate internal skirt, just to widen that seal surface instead of just a single point of contact it's quite a wide point of contact all the way around your face to hold the air on the inside and, uh, and keep the water out then onto the snorkel uh, so this is what we call a single purge snorkel it has a purge valve down at the bottom we'll take a look at that in a second um, starting up at the top bright orange so it can stand out in the water this is a wave deflector. So if waves kind of splash over the top of the snorkel, it's designed to deflect them away from the opening. So some water might get in, but less likely than just a completely open um, top snorkel. The snorkel itself is completely rigid, so that maintains the airway uh, and sort of holds it in position. It's not going to uh, bend and flex and close it. Uh, it holds it nice and open. 
it does come with a uh, an actual um, mask clip so this can loop over the uh, the actual strap but you can also remove this and use that integrated one which is probably what i would do um, this you do get a decent amount of flex you can uh, just sort of pop that off and then down towards a, a fixed bend um, that holds the mouthpiece just in front of your mouth. And then below the uh, the blue section, when it's uh, colorless clear, this is all silicone again, so nice and soft. But you'll notice that below the mouthpiece, it continues, this is a water trap. So if any water does make its way into the snorkel, it's gonna collect down here at the bottom. So you can still breathe around it if you're breathing shallow and there's not too much water in there, but it also has a one-way purge valve. So if you exhale, it's gonna push the water trapped down at the bottom straight out. So you don't have to blow it all the way up the, uh, the top of the snorkel. So it's uh, sort of much easier. The one thing that I would note with this is that it's not a protected mushroom valve. So if you put it down in the sand, just make sure it's nice and clean, get any uh, sort of sand or grit out from underneath that little mushroom valve, just flush some warm water through it uh, or even just in the surf, uh, make sure that's nice and clear. Otherwise, if there's small sort of bits of grit in it, it can just allow water to get in and that will slowly fill up. So you wanna make sure that that's nice and clear between dives. And that's the Beauchat Oshio mask and snorkel set very well put together set uh, you do get a pretty nice mask and, uh, and snorkel with this and yeah the materials itself the overall finish is really nice not surprising for Beauchat but um, but yeah this isn't one of theirs like headlining masks but they put a lot of effort and, uh, and detail into this and um, yeah I can always uh, sort of recommend these uh, sort of snowboarding style straps there'll be more information on our website simplyscuba.com just click on the link down in the description below where you can check it out and buy it from us at Simply Scuba. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.